Hello beautiful beings, my name is Alexis. I am an Ascension blogger and in this video I'm going to bring you as quickly as possible some information about the energy shifts that are going on today, which is May 26th, that is 12, 24 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And as you can see behind me, the Schumann Resonance in particular was the star of the show, which is really why I report on it the most with my blog because it seems like me personally is, a, is affected and has the most ability to predict this happening and we have a huge community now of people who are also seeing this and sharing this information. So I'm going to add on to this information in this video as well with some other evidence on what's going on but I'm also just going to show you a little bit more detail so if you're curious about what the Schumann Resonance is and what it's doing and how you can predict it and how it applies to your life that's what I'm going to try and do because that's that's my passion. So let's let's jump into it. First thing I want to show you is just the times of what this blast was and also the clear anomaly that's occurring in the middle of it. This is what we like to call a blackout and you know with any other graph and any other chart when there is no data available because you can see here this is no data right here that is yet to happen but this is also no data but clearly it's happening in the middle of a major bout of activity which makes it suspicious and another thing that you may enjoy is that this blackout occurred over hour 17 which is commonly the most active hour of the Schumann resonance at least for the years that I've been watching it it's from hour 16 to 18, this huge, just those hours, they're like, mm, maybe they're turning off the machines, really, that's, that's kind of how I feel. It's come to this point where I'm like more suspicious about <laughs> this publicly available data about the Schumann resonance, about the solar stuff and so on, but I digress. I'm going to tell you what times that these occurred so you can compare your own life. The last three days, I have been curled up in bed, emotional, crying, weak, totally unable to do any of the tasks and have the energy I'm presenting and sharing with you right now, it wasn't there. I was almost like another person and I was uncomfortable. And like any other type of trip, uh, it doesn't last forever. And you, I knew this morning the energy had shifted and I thought it was because of my own doing, but again, you know, so within, so without, there was definitely a back and forth thing going on. And this is the clear evidence. So last night, the 20. Fifth, around 8 p.m. was when I was starting to text people back after a few days of not answering my phone. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I'm starting to feel better. Well, that's when this, uh, this blast started coming in. And what does this mean? It means that the Schumann resonance or the, the, the music of our ionosphere, of our planet, I think of them as brainwaves. Some people call of it call it the heartbeat. And this got louder. This energy and these frequencies got louder at that time which means in a way it could have almost out sang and out um, vibrated and overtook the artificial frequencies that are going on like cell towers and so on. We're all very concerned and aware now more than ever of these cell towers and what they're doing and the satellites and so on. This is earth potentially drowning it all out. And that is maybe why I was feeling better. That's just a theory. That's what I've been going off of for literally years of this research. So this first blast comes in and then we're going to bed around this time when it cools off a little bit and then we go to sleep and then boom, we get another one. And I can't even tell you how high or how loud it got during that time, but I can tell you when it sort of petered off again, which was only around three hours ago. So around like 10 p.m. That's when I kind of chilled and went back into the quiet zone. And honestly, the quiet zone, it's not my favorite time. I don't function as well. I'm clear. I clearly function better when we see these whiteouts and not all, not all of us are going to function the same during these frequencies. I want to let you know about that, but it's very, um, it's a very beautiful thing and it's so fun to watch. So let's look at how, how loud it got. So we measure amplitude of these frequencies, these four lines. These are four different frequencies. There's just about six or seven that are part of the like song of the ionosphere because of the shape and the way sine waves work and so on. But during, you know, 8 p.m., 8, 9 p.m. last night, the amplitude got to around mm, like a high 60, which is pretty good. And then... Again, around 2, 1, 2 in the morning, it began to really peak again. And all we can see is that it got to a 72 for the primary frequency, which is this white line. That's the 7.83 hertz average primary frequency of the Earth 
and then we have 14 and 20, 21, 24 ish. And, you know, it goes from there. But those subs, those are rarely more powerful than the primary frequency, just so you know. And then we see the actual frequencies during these these jumps were lower than average. Um, as you can see here, they don't bop too much. This is 7.45, this is 7.94. It's just in between that range. That's why 7.83 is the average. During the first blast, it went down a little bit below average. And then, of course, I can't tell you what happened during the blackout again, but it looks like it didn't spike too much. And then the quality is another one, which is like how, what was the quality of these frequencies? When did they break down? How much energy were they basically able to hold? And you can clearly see that there was some type of spike that occurred in the quality, but it's blacked out again. But let's just see what we can see. It, it spiked to a quality of 10, which is not very high at all. But potentially, who knows? Who knows where it went, where it actually did? I don't, and I can't tell you. But these anomalies, these blackouts happen a lot. And to have it happen in the meat of a really white out blast is always very fascinating. The heartmath org is another place that you can get this information all these links i leave below my youtube video every time for this data so you can mine it yourself whenever you want it looks like alberta is actually where i'm from alberta canada is having the highest the highest readings according to heartmath.com they have stations all around the world too and that's what i'm noticing which is kind of funny other stations aren't even on so it's not the most reliable site, I'll be honest. So let's look at what's actually happening with the stars and astrology. So we're going to try and find and suss out maybe the source of why this came in and what's going on. And one thing that did happen astrologically was that Juno, the asteroid, went direct. And Venus had just gone retrograde and Jupiter is, or sorry, Juno is also love related. Both of them are related to love. And with this sort of transition that... Juno went back direct from February when it went retrograde. It's asking us to look over our relationships, our romantic and our like intimate relationships with people. So if today you're having a moment of clarity finally with a decision about your own relationship, either it is to move on from that or to, you know, just another layer of intimacy in that relationship. That is what's going on astrologically. There's other things, but this is what I picked up. Which isn't, you know, it isn't like, oh, that's the reason. But I'm just telling you that there is, there's also some clues along with these energies. I also like to do a tarot reading with these energies. And then I'm going to get into what the sun was doing because that's also important. So the tarot card that I received for today with this blast is the high priestess, which kind of looks like the blast. Let's be honest. We got a little bit of the same qualities in this picture. But the high priestess talks about mysteries and secrets and indicate that there's more depth to a matter. So there's clearly more depth to what this blast actually means for all of us and that you need to follow your intuition and trust your instincts with what's going on today as well as um deeping deepening your connection to your divine feminine and the knowledge and your learning of spiritual things and esoteric matters which is what i love to bring the Schumann resonance into because I think it's very esoterically linked and so what was the sun doing so currently the sun is doing like below average solar wind speed which is 400 we're at 317 one thing I did notice though is that they were reporting that the south Atlantic anomaly in the magnetosphere and our like magnetic earth's magnetosphere is almost splitting into two they're noticing which is massive this is massive news in my opinion so there is some information about that I take it what you want but i've been learning more and more about this anomaly and to actually watch it be moving around and changing and even splitting around that's important for our planet other things now we're going to go into the sun i'm i was looking at this one area on the sun this bright spot this potentially could cause magnetic impact on our own planet as well as solar wind and so on there's also one here coming around but we're also we're seeing coronal holes as well facing earth these little holes and this one on the bottom so this causes solar wind as well but as i told you so far solar wind isn't that high we are also seeing just this is this is what looks this is the graph that like 
reflects back what the solar wind is doing to our magnetosphere and right now it's actually super quiet which means that we don't have that buzzing protection that bombardment which means that actual cosmic radiation can come in more right now which is interesting here as well but not as powerfully obviously the little bit more disturbance there is the greener and the yellower and the redder it gets the less there is permeated through our atmosphere there's also an anomaly in my data as well, which I thought was interesting. The space weather enthusiasts site on the NOAA, you know, website, that page is totally gone. I don't know why. It had lots of really useful information. Maybe it's getting a reboot and a revamp. That's the timeline I want to be on. As well as watching the chronograph where you can see energy leaving the limbs and the edge of the sun. I've been watching energy leave all year long. It's just popping off stuff. And it honestly looks like that they altered this chart. This is my opinion. But it's not as bright as it usually is. But I don't think that's because of the sun. I think they may have even like dampened what we can see and made it less look less intense to maybe like scare us less. I don't know. But I'm still seeing that there is stuff popping off the edge of the sun. I'm also seeing lightning, which is related to Schumann resonance along the east coast, the east side of the United States, down into over by basically yeah over here in the ocean below Mexico and also over in Alberta and Saskatchewan and Manitoba it looks like and then we move to the other side of the world there's actually quite a bit of lightning this is pretty impressive we're seeing lightning over here we're seeing lightning over in the UK we're seeing lightning it's all over the place so there is energy cosmic energy coming in in these areas clearly so you're probably feeling a little different today under like the, if anything what i'm saying you're probably feeling a little weird and different which is why i make these videos let's talk about earthquakes really fast so when the energy shifts again the earth can shake i've noticed that anomaly we're seeing some shaking in panama we're actually seeing a little bit of earthquake activity almost everywhere in china again china china I'm seeing it, but just so you know, just so we all know, we can watch like maybe this anomaly, this blackout happened because they didn't want us to know how intense things were about to get, but we would notice on the seismo charts, some of these not, are not available like here in Germany, that happens all the time, but here is, there's some evidence here that there has some shaking going on, but I didn't see anything that was like wild, you know, we've seen some wild stuff on this channel looking at and. It doesn't get reported, you know, this stuff doesn't go on the news. The way that I research doesn't seem to be a common way that other people like gather, gather data on the news, but whatever. This is also a cosmic ray station, and I wanted to show you briefly that the cosmic rays are back at another high. Over the years, we're in a high, you know, year of cosmic radiation, which makes sense because I've watched the KP index drop multiple times wherever it is here to really low and I've felt the effects so that is today's video about all that I hope it was nice and concise and quick and fast and easy to digest let your friends and family know if they're feeling like oh I feel weird today and you know they're not as in tune with this research and this this line of work just let them know that you know the Schumann resonance blasted today for sure after quite a few days of really quiet activity so there is going to be a shift in our brain waves and our magnetos magnetic you know our whole magnetic field around us and so on that is my theory based off of years of research and i'm just happy to be able to share that information with all of you thank you very much for supporting me through paypal and through patreon and from subscribing and following me on social media and getting the word out there making your own account and sharing about this sharing about this on facebook just you can find the link you can find this picture for yourself post it on facebook just just get it into people's minds even if they just see a picture pretty much everybody who's going to see something like this they're going to go what is that and they're going to notice that there's something going on and that is that's all i ask that's all that we need to do the more people who want to know about this the less often that these sort of anomalies are going to occur without us knowing what actually is going on we as you know i believe as a planet deserve to know and also monitor our own environment without it going through layers of layers of editing and so on so i just wanted to talk about that they i wanted to share this energy with you thank you all very much for being here and continue to see love in every moment we are all one and 
I will see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.